Just uh, one week ago, I've. Um, oh, do you need mine? Do you need some kind of I can download it here, I think. Yeah. In the audio pack, Girl Power, there is a VL test example. Maybe I have to restart. Okay, um, what, what I did in the audio pack is um, I made a template node, we are a template node, that has an input audio signal and an output audio signal. So this is kind of the data type of the VV audio engine. And this can be connected to an audio out and then put to the sound card. And inside of this node you can open the VL editor. And here is also some kind of like similar to the async um, function that is called um, audio signal region. And you can create it as node. Then it has some kind of uh, function inputs. But this can also be created as region, audio signal region, region stateful. And it looks like this. Is basically what's happening in here. And already this, this delegate here in, in the audio region, this is already called whenever the sound card requests a buffer. So this is the audio signal. You can put in audio from VVV. Then the signal region gets the audio signal inputs the incoming audio here into the region. This is already happening on the audio thread. And then it outputs an um, audio signal back to VV, and you can do other stuff, put it into VSDs or so. But in here, I just created a normal uh, VL patch, and I put it into the region. And inside of this patch, here there's a, there's a like stateful context. And here I get the audio buffer with the samples from the input. Then there is another like delegate node which can take a buffer and then runs this code inside here for every audio sample. So here, everything in here is already on the audio thread. And everything in here runs per sample on the audio thread. And what is going on here? Um, it takes the input sample uh, here, which is um, some audio file, the default sound file from VV. This is the audio input. And if I would connect the sample input to the sample output, it should just play back the sound file. So this, is the, this is just a plain sound file. I'm not applying anything to it here. Input sample, output sample. But here in this example, there are two LFOs. And those are the normal VL LFOs. You can just create them there. And they will just run there for every sample, updating 44,000 times per second. And here is an oscillator, which creates a sine wave. This is the code for it. And then I multiply this sine wave here with uh, audio samples, which does some kind of um, amplitude modulation to the sound file. It sounds like this. And I can also only output the sine wave that is multiplied with the audio samples. Yes. <coughs> Check it out, download the audio pack in the beta, and then you can 
do some stuff here in the audio thread. And you can get data back from the audio thread as well, in the same way as the, as the async region. Whenever a buffer is processed, here you can output something. Here I think I output those sample values and some kind of information how long it took to process the buffer. And this then gets sent to the main loop, back to the main loop here, every time the buffer is finished. And then here the last value is sampled and put out to the weave to display display the samples. And from VV also some data is sent to the audio here volume for example. Or the audio here. So it's already possible, you can use it. <laughs> <laughs>